Hi there, welcome to the SAI Intellisys Conference 2015. We are talking here about artificial intelligence, about intelligent systems, and looking in how they will influence our daily lives in future. Um, there are many speakers here, there are many sessions here. If you're interested, go to the Intellisys Conference website and see all the material there. Or sign up to the uh, SAI Conference YouTube channel and see all the footage about the keynote speakers, about the sessions, etc. With me, John Fox, uh, who has been presenting yesterday. What was your presentation about? Well, I'm a cognitive scientist with an interest in applying AI in medicine. And what we've been doing for many years is developing techniques and technologies and theoretical concepts that we'll, we can use to, to help doctors and nurses and maybe even us as patients okay. uh, to make better decisions and to, to look after people better. And, and what, what was bottom line uh, what you learned or told uh, your audience? Well, the bottom line is we built a lot of practical applications which okay. are being routinely, okay. routinely yeah. used. Yeah. But also what came out of that was a whole approach to AI which is applicable in many other areas. Okay, and what is that approach? So it's, um, it's an approach which is inspired by uh, human cognition, how people mm -hmm. think, reason, pro solve problems, yeah. plan, um, and capturing that in a formal way uh, which can then be reused uh, to, to build systems that can do some of the things that people do. Yeah, great. And can, can you give me an example uh, how this will influence our daily life in, in, in future? Well, a very simple application is on um, uh, in the UK on the National Health Service Choices website. Mm -hmm. There is a simple application called the Symptom Checker. If you have any one of a number of maybe about 100 different common conditions, backache yeah. or headache yeah. or, or nosebleed or whatever it may be, yeah. and you don't know what to do, you go to this website, it asks you some questions, and it will tell you either go home, go to bed, or right. make an appointment to see your doctor, or call an ambulance. Yeah, okay, that's great. And that's been very successful. You yeah, can, you, can, you can go there now okay. on your smartphone and try it out. It's a very simple simple system. And you probably will not stop working today, so what are your challenges towards the future? Um, my interest is in, say, taking the lessons learned from a co very complex field like medicine mm -hmm. and saying what can we take out into the world of robotics and autonomous systems and machine learning and what can we learn from them and bring all of this together, the different communities who don't talk to each other very much, mm -hmm. and bring them together to really do some exciting things. Yeah, and, and if you say exciting things, what should I be envisioning? Well, in, you've, you've, we've heard a lot um, about autonomous vehicles, for example. Mm -hmm. We've heard a lot about scientific uh, tools to help scientists kind of discover mm -hmm. new drugs or, or, mm -hmm. or, or new ideas. Um, um, expert systems, which are systems to help people in a huge range of, of practical problems that we face in security and, and fraud management. Um, or the, the having a unified approach. Um, is, is, is changing the way that we can really deliver useful things. But I think the philosophy at the bottom for me is making sure this stays mm. centered on human beings, yeah. not just creating crazy AI systems yeah, that but we don't because control. We, we, we noticed in Q&A sessions that you are a person concerned with the philosophical side of AI too, and with the, the, the possible problems and downsides. Yes, I'm not alone in that. Of course, yeah. there's a lot of people talking about um, um, uh, what's called the singularity, the, mm. the possibility that we were about to build AI systems that are smarter than we are, yeah. and what are the consequences. That's a very ongoing conversation, and it needs to keep going. Um, there are huge benefits here, but there are also huge dangers. Thank you, John Fox. If you want to see more of John Fox or of the other speakers at the SAI Intellisys Conference, please go to the YouTube channel SAI Conference and sign up there, or go to the Intellisys Conference website. Thank you.